May is the third month of America's coronavirus quarantine, and it's also Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. Here to talk about that is one of our writers, Karen Chi. Hi, Seth. It's true. This month, we celebrate Americans of Asian and Pacific Islander heritage. But this year has been tough. With President Trump calling COVID-19 the Chinese virus and news outlets almost exclusively using photos of Asians in their pandemic articles, there's been a surge in anti-Asian racism. Being Asian in America can feel pretty scary right now. So in light of that, I wanted to share the ways that I'm celebrating our heritage this month. Number one, be grateful. I'm grateful for my health, for my home, and for the man on the street who yelled, go back to Korea at me. South Korea has done a much better job handling the coronavirus than the US, and I would be much safer if I went there. So really, that man was wishing me good health. Thank you, kind sir. May you also go to Korea. Number two, support my local Asian-owned businesses. A lot of Asian restaurants and stores are struggling right now because of both the coronavirus and the added racism. So it's essential to shop there whenever I can. Plus, let's be honest, Whole Foods is not going to have my dried squid snacks. Number three, defy stereotypes. A lot of people make assumptions about me before they get to know me. Specifically, that I'll be entitled, rude, and white, just because my name is Karen. So I'm defying stereotypes just by being Asian, and also by not asking to speak to your manager. Number four, keep in touch with my family. I call my parents every day, and thanks to them, I'm able to thrive indoors. In fact, I don't long for the outdoors at all. Growing up, when I asked my immigrant parents to go camping, they were like, why? We have a house. Why would we pretend to be homeless? And that prepared me well for life in quarantine. Number five, celebrate our community. During this time, it's important to reach out to other members of the Asian Pacific American community, even people you may not know that well, and who are very hot, like actor John Cho. I'm spending this month tweeting at him, hi, John Cho, you are very hot. And you might say, Karen, that doesn't sound like you're celebrating Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. That just sounds like you're trying to hit on John Cho. And you would be right. Number six, be patient. Quarantine is lasting a long time, but I'm not worried. When it ends, I will look exactly the same as I did when it started, because Asians look young forever. Everyone at late night thinks I'm 25, but actually, I'm 50 years old. So relax, stay inside, and we'll celebrate in person when the pandemic is over, after it probably gets solved by an Asian doctor who my mom will want me to marry. Karen Chi, everyone. We'll be right back with Kumail Nanjiani.